Hello everyone. Welcome back to Odooistic, your go-to channel for all things Odoo. I am M. Farooq Rajput and today I am excited to guide you through the essential features of Odoo 18 CRM. Whether you are new to Odoo or just curious about what's new in version 18, this video will show you how this powerful tool can transform the way your sales team works, organizing sales activities, automating tasks, and staying on top of customer interactions. So stick around as we explore how Odoo 18 CRM can take your sales game from good to great. Let's dive in. Do you know what makes the difference between a good sales team and a great one? It's the tools they use. Meet Odoo CRM, a powerful tool designed to organize sales activities, automate tasks, and empower your team in their daily customer interactions. So, let's start. So here, as you can see, uh, we are on Odoo 18 Community Edition uh, settings page. So if I just go scroll down, and click on CRM in settings. First of all, we can just check in on leads, um, where it's written add a qualification step before the creation of an opportunity. So we just click on it and then click save. If we go in app apps, And as you can see, if we can just type CRM. So I have already installed CRM. So if you have not installed CRM, you can go and install CRM. So because already I have installed CRM, just go and click it. Once you click CRM, you have just reached on a CRM uh, dashboard page where you can see new qualified proposition won. So these are different kind of stages these opportunities are at the moment. You can also just drag and drop these opportunities in different stages, like what I'm doing at the moment. So if I will move this qualified into new, as you can see, it has changed and it has also changed the uh, the configurator as well on top so if i change proposition one to qualified you can see it has been changed and it's it's it has all all also changed the figure as well on top of these opportunities so this is um what's the really really cool feature in crm 18 where you can just drag and drop all these opportunities in different stages Okay, um, because as you already have seen, we have already activated leads. So we have got a leads menu also here. So if I just click lead and I click new, here we can create a new lead. This is a cool feature of this um, uh, of CRM where you can create different kind of leads. So let's suppose, suppose I have just met with a uh, a person which is uh, like Jay and Jay re was representing a company which is ABC um, Limited and he's very much interested in in our products so we can just create a lead so we say that Jay uh, the company name we say ABC address you can give you can also give website as well if you want the contact name is j then you can give email job position and etc etc you can also write the notes as well we can just say important 
points that we want to discuss this point we want to discuss this point so etc so once you do that um, you can just save and if i click on these le leads so this new lead has been created so now the lead name which i created was this one j lead so after some time if you want to convert it to opportunity you can just click on this button which is called convert to opportunity so this lead will be converted to opportunity but before we need to answer this we need to conversion action is convert to opportunity assign this opportunity so we can also assign this opportunity to different um, salespersons at the moment there are just two Mitchell admin and mark demo but if we have created or if we will create in future we can also add those in so at the moment I want to um, assign this to Mitchell ad admin which is me here you can also add a different kind of sales teams as well so but here sales team is fine and then because this J has not been in uh, contacts list so if we want to create as a new contact in rest.partner we can do that so we say create a new customer and create opportunity by clicking this as you can see now this opportunity has been created so if we go in CRM and here we can if you see in new J lead is there so this is how you can create lead and this is how you can convert a lead in, into opportunity so this is really really cool guys communication is key in sales and Odoo CRM makes it seamless call your prospects directly from the app and send emails without leaving the platform so every action and history of the opportunity is tracked automatically ensuring you never miss a detail so what it means so if here you are on you can see different opportunities here so if you can just click on here so you can see uh, it is actually showing you your overdue uh, because this is red at the moment but this one is green so because it's not overdue so here you can see all your activities and your scheduled activities um, all together but if you want to create a new one you can click scheduled a new activity and here in activity type what you want to do um, if you want to set up an email call meeting follow up uh, make quote call for demo email welcome demo to do so um, whatever you want to take action you can create it so let's do email and uh, we can write anything in summary so we can write anything we want due date um, we can just select after two days and assign to Mitchell admin so here we we, we have got four actions schedule scheduled and mark as done done and scheduled next and cancel so we just click on schedule so if you see uh, now it has been replaced with the green email sign because it's not been overdue but if we will open it after three days it will say overdue and it will show us red so I hope you have just liked it then after that another thing I have already told you that everything is tracked so what it means if you click on this opportunity so you can see on your um, a right side the activity which we have created it has created a log on right hand side which is called chatter so let's suppose we click on send message here and we write anything here and then we click on send so this message will be sent and also on right side um, these are the receivers um, all these people which are in the followers tab all these people will receive this message and this is the message new message this is the email and it's now why it is read because I have not set up my email server but that's another um, in video which I will show how to set up email servers
but this is how um, you can send message. These log nodes are basically messages in internally, internal team. So if you send anything and click log, so now as you can see, it has been passed on, but this will be just in internal team. No followers can see all these messages. So if we go back in CRM app, so uh, here on your right corner side, you can see two um, two icons. One is with this is like cloud icon. So if you can just click here, so you can see all the um, chatter activities. Uh, what is happening there. So you have got all the notifications there. And if you click on this clock icon, these are your activities, which are, so this is today's meeting, leader opportunity has been created, uh, task. So everything related to you, everything you can see on this um, activities icon tab. Um, then you can see these, these are the view types. So at the moment we are on a Kanban view. If you just click here, we can shift to the list view of all of our opportunities. Uh, then this is the calendar view. And please note, all of our activities are actually synced automatically with our calendar. So here you can see all your activities um, on the calendar. Then um, you also have got Pavit uh, view as well, where um, if you want to see your reports and you want to see um, reporting regarding your pipeline, you can just look, you can just go there. And here you can just choose different uh, filters as well. So days to assign, um, you can also choose days to close. So every single thing, all the details, you can just look into there. Um, and then the next one is graph view, where you can just see the graph view where you can just choose different kind of graphs. This is a line graph. This is the pie chart. Um, then you can go uh, cumulative, then uh, descending. So these are really, really handy tools. And then you can also go on activity view. So now that we have explored the main functionalities of Odoo 18 CRM, let's take a closer look at the configuration menu, an essential part for customization and fine tuning your CRM to fit your business needs. So first we have, if we can just go in configuration and we can see first is settings. So when we will click, it will just take us in the same settings menu which we have um, just used at very start of our video where we just enabled the leads. So that is the same thing. So we can again go back in configuration and we, we can see the second menu, which is sales team. Uh, this is the sales team, um, which when we were creating uh, leads or opportunities, so we had one option or one field for sales team where we saw sales and other sales teams. So whatever it's sales teams we want to create, we can create we can create it here. As you can see, sales and pre-sales teams are there. So if we want to create, we can just go a new and we can create a sales team. And then we can see that new created team also in that field. Then we have got uh, is the activity plans. So these are predefined sequences of actions that you can set. You can set up for your sales pipeline. Uh, they ensure that your team follows a consistent process for lead, um, nurturing, and opportunity management. It is a powerful way to standardize workflows and maintain momentum throughout the sales process. So here you go. Um, so all these emails. So this is basically to, to um, the schedule actions thing, which I have already 
told you how to set up and if you want to create a new activity type then you can just create any other activity type which you want then the next is activity plans um, so in activity plans you can create new plans lead plans opportunity plans then the next is tags Tags are a simple yet powerful way to categorize leads and opportunities by using tags. You can quickly filter and sort data, making it easier to focus on specific types of opportunities or customer segments. Um, we have got lost reasons. This feature allows you to record the reasons why certain deals did not go through. So basically, when an opportunity will lose, so it will ask you the lost reasons. So in those lost reasons, you we can just define that these are the reasons. And uh, in this section, in lost reason sections, um, we can identify common patterns, improve our sales strategy, and minimize losses in the future. And we can give um, lost reasons types, which we can create it here. Finally, there's a lead mining requests. It's an effective way to expand our sales pipeline and reach out to potential customers without leaving the CRM. So with all these customizable options in the configuration menu, our o -O 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 A 18 CRM gives us the flexibility to tailor our sales process from start to finish, guys. So whatever we are setting up our teams or streamlining activities, this, this menu has everything we need to fine tune our CRM and maximize our sales potential. So guys, this is it. This is a brief tour of um, Odoo, C Odoo 18 CRM. And I have just tried my best that in a um, short time to let you know lots of things, lots of features. Uh, if you want to ask anything in detail, you can just, you are just uh, free to contact me to just ask any question. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for, for your time. Uh, please like this video, share it, subscribe this channel, share it with your friend as well. And... Tada. Thank you. Bye-bye.